It's me. It's me. It's the artist formerly known as OPIE. Hey, what's up, guys? OP09 09 back here for another video. Um, <clears throat> and uh, as many of you guys have known, I've uh, shaved my beard recently, and uh, I don't feel comfortable anymore showing my face on camera. So I thought the entire video and my videos going forward, I'm going to uh, wear this hoodie here and just kind of stare at the ground. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy my videos. Um, I'm just going to do do my best, you know, give the A for effort, and uh, you just guys just can't see my face. So uh, we're going to begin here with some uh, pickups from the last couple weeks. Actually, hold on. What's up, guys? Hope you 0909 back here. Um, yeah, I can't wear this, but here I am, beardless for anybody that hasn't seen me. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm bigger than I am, but I don't know. I had fun with that. Excuse this shirt. It's super tight. My moves are sticking out pretty hardcore, but I don't care. Anyway, um, so I'm back with another video here. Uh, I made this video, this same video, about three days ago, but I had uh, allergies were, were acting up really, really bad. And if you've ever seen South Park, I compared it to, and I said it in the, the video I made before that I didn't post, uh, I felt like a giant douche and a turd sandwich blended together. I felt absolutely horrendous, and I made a video, and it was shittier than most of my videos. It was really, really bad. So normally my videos are like a C minus. This is like a like a, a D minus. So I decided just to delete it, wait a couple days, and see how I feel. I still got like the sniffles and whatnot. But anyway, who cares about your allergies? What's the billy goat um, with a Viking helmet? So I'm gonna go over my pickups here uh, again, and I tell everybody this all the time. I'm not the biggest horror fan. I'm not. But you guys are wearing off on me, man. A lot of you guys on here showing. All these horror pickups, and we'll be honest, horror movie releases are the best releases out there. I don't care what anybody says. They're, they're additions. Even if you're not a horror fan, it's so hard to not pick them up just because they look so nice. I mean, they got booklets, the, the artwork, some of them have reversible artwork, the slip covers, the slip boxes, the special features. It's just insane. So whether or not you're a big horror fan, it's so hard to skip up on the titles. And there's actually five people I want to thank. Five people. I was going to change my name to Brokey0909 because after the last pickup video, I thought I'm not going to have a pickup video for another couple months and I went and I look and was looking the other day and um, I think I got 17 here and all are horror except for one so I'm gonna thank these five guys you are the reason I'm broke and I have no money it's all your fault that is blu-ray lantern Ryan thank you Toddy Walnuts Todd thank you Aaron Penn thank you Slasher Junkie, a.k.a. Tattoo Blu-ray, a.k.a. Paul. And last but not least, Reject Films. Damn. So I just want to thank you guys for costing me all this money. Thanks a lot. Not going to work overtime, and uh, I can't feed myself anymore because I spent all my money on movies, on horror movies, because you guys do nothing but show horror movies all the time, and they're awesome, and i got to go and pick them up, even though I haven't seen just about majority of them I haven't seen but I'm so scared they're gonna print or I'm gonna miss a slip cover or I'm gonna miss some something so you guys make me run out and buy them so it's all your fault so thank you anyway let's get down to it um I'm not gonna do all pickup videos either this isn't gonna be my, my normal thing I, I want to start going out and do more out and abouts and stuff like that um which again it's the same thing everybody else does but I just don't want to do pickup videos all the time so we're gonna go out we'll start doing something I think I'm gonna make a video tomorrow um, I have the road test for this new job I'm trying out, so I think I'm actually going to, you know, go out, I'll record it and stuff like that. I'll throw movies in there, I'll probably stop in a movie store. Anyway, three minutes in. Last video was 17 minutes and I really didn't want that. So first pick up here, and I apologize, I'm all over the place. Anyway, uh, first pick up here, non-horror related. This is the Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows Steelbook. Got it from Best Buy, as you can tell right there, it's on this tag, the tag there. Um, enjoyed this movie, saw, it with the, saw the first one with the family in theaters, and saw this in the, the, the theater with the family. We had a fun time. It's nothing great. doesn't hold a candle to the first two, but it, this one and the one before this, definitely better than the third uh, original Ninja Turtles movie. So, Ooh. oh man, some heartburn there. Uh, yeah, so I'm sure you guys have seen this, checked it out. When I went to Best Buy, there was literally like 100 copies of this freaking thing. So I'm sure it's not selling anytime soon. Up next, my first 4K pickup, Movie Cave Dave. Uh, he had commented on one of my videos uh, a little bit ago, and I think I was trashing 4K. I don't know why. But um, he made a comment about it. I don't remember what exactly the comment was, but it got me to think, and maybe it's time to start picking up some 4K movies. So I went out, and I, uh, a lot of people picked this up, and I saw it with the lenticular. Um, lenticular cover's awesome. 
uh, and I thought what, this this just seems like a really good movie to have in 4K. I think it'll look really nice uh, once I get a 4K player. I'm trying to get the Xbox One S. So once I get that, I already have the TV. I think this would be a really really awesome movie visually to watch in 4K. My first one. <coughs> so anyway, I picked up the Shallows with Blake Live later. Didn't see it in theaters. Wanted to, just didn't get to. But I thought underwater CGI special effects. I think this just out in the, the open. I think this would be a really good movie to, to watch in 4K. So I picked it up. I think it was 28, but I had a uh, I had a couple coupons to Best Buy. Uh, up next here, uh, I think Best Buy had this was eight dollars. Silent Night, Deadly Night. So I had to check this out. Never seen it. Heard a lot about it. Again, too. I haven't seen most of these movies, man. I'm I'm finding it so hard to, to with time to with work and like everybody else says work. So I can't watch them. But then the new baby. This new job I'm trying to do, trying to get, so. Plus, my kids, like I said, they don't go to bed till 9. The wife's not a big horror fan. I have the TV upstairs, but if I go upstairs and try to watch a movie, she'll probably bitch at me because, you know, I got a you know, dad duty, man. I got a new baby. I can't just leave and, and have her do it all herself. That's not fair. But anyway, enough about me. More about the movies. Stitches here. I saw this a couple, a couple years, I'm going to say a couple, maybe a year or two ago. Really enjoyed it. I wound up selling it. I don't know why. But um, Best Buy had it in the dump in for Friday night, so I wanted to pick it up. Really cool. Uh, I think this is Australian. I think it's Australian. Uh, like a horror comedy. Uh, stitches. More on the horror, but it's a fun time. Up next, here's a couple pickups I got from the Facebook uh, horror group. Uh, what is it? Is it horror DVD and Blu-ray or something group on there? But anyway, everybody on there, it's an awesome page. People buying, selling, trading, doing everything, putting like information on there about upcoming releases, upcoming movies. Really, really fun, really cool uh, Facebook page. So again, thank you, Reject Films, Dan, for adding me to that, man. I really appreciate that. But anyway, I got these off of a seller. Don't remember his name, but um, I needed them. I got the first one, skipped on these two, and then regret it not getting them. And now it's harder to get, you know, find them with the slip. So this guy was selling them. And the people that sell on there sell for really, really great prices. So they're, they're nobody trying to burn anybody on there, which is awesome. So I got uh, Sleepaway Camp 2, 3. Sleepaway Camp 3, brand new, still factory sealed. Sleepaway Camp 2 was open, and I was a little, you know, being a slip cover. You can't really see the stupid things on there, but there's a, uh, oh, geez, here's a big-ass gash in the slip cover there. So uh, I was a little upset about that, but such is life. Uh, up next here, another film I picked up from uh, one of the guys on that Facebook page. There was, I think he sounded like his whole collection, and, um, this is one I really want to get. Again, I had the first one. I got the second one not too long ago. Waited on the third one. And now, again, it's hard to find with the slipcover. Uh, Psycho 3, Anthony Perkins and Psycho 3. This slipcover is a little uh, little beat up, a little worn, but it's all good, man. For the price I got it for, no biggie. Uh, and then, actually, I picked up another movie from that stent list seller here. I showed this movie in my last update. Got it from Best Buy. Uh, Blu-ray Outlaw Chris was talking a lot about it, uh, raved about it. So I wanted to pick it up. Found out that it came with a slipcover. It was a Best Buy exclusive. I'm not, I don't think it is anymore, but it came with a slipcover. And again, me being a slipcover guy, I wanted it with a slip. So I returned the copy I had. This guy had it with a slip, so I bought it off of him. The house is October built with his awesome slip. Again, this awesome slip, yeah, I don't know. It's the same as the, the actual cover art. Under, you know, the cover art and the slip are the same, but I don't know. It's something about this fucking cardboard that I just can't. I have to have it. So and the house is October built. Uh, what do we got next here? Uh, just a quick Best Buy pickup. John Lithgow. Raising Cane Screen Factor release. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make this quick. The last video, like I said, was 17 minutes. I don't want it to be that long. I don't want to be up all night <coughs> putting this thing, editing it. I'm going to make my stupid thumbnails that are as basic as basic can be, but I enjoy making them. Um, up next here, which I already, seen, I already think I said up next here, but we'll just say it again for the third time. Up next here. Uh, I think a lot of people got a lot of, a lot of guys picked these up. Uh, Screen Factory, the deluxe edition releases of the thing. I actually like this cover art better, honestly. I actually was going to buy a poster too not too long ago that actually had had this art on it, not the, the pictures, but the thing with the, the crack in the ice and all, or in the snow. Really awesome movie. Hopefully everybody's seen the thing. If not, it's it's Halloween. It's 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 October. It's Halloween. Do yourself a favor and check this movie out. Perfect time. Up next here. This is a horror anthology I've never seen, but I'm a big fan of epic pictures or epic releases, whatever you call them. I have a Turbo Kid that they released uh, last year, maybe? And he's like these big box kind of sets. Not box set, but 
it's a big box, we'll call it. Uh, anyway, uh, Tales of Halloween. Got that there. Still haven't opened it. Well, seems like a really cool anthology, though. So I'm really excited to check it out. Up next here, and yeah, I know I'm a copycat. I've seen other people do this, but I, I, I wanted to do it so bad, and I was having such a hard time finding uh, colored cases on eBay. I've now found, or, or or anywhere actually, I've actually found somebody again in this this that horror group. Somebody put in. Um, a, a, a post with a picture of them switching the blu-ray case on one of their movies to a different color and they somebody asked them hey where'd you get them at and they put on there where they got them it was an ebay seller so i actually added that ebay seller but most of the the colors he has are sold out so i didn't buy any off him but anyway i know a lot of people were doing this so i jumped on the wagon because i think it looks so awesome uh so actually one is a pickup and one i actually already had but i just want to show you you know i put a different color a different cover not color well, color too, yeah. So it, I got it in the red case here, reanimator in the green case here. This case here, I had the Incredible Hulk with that that green slip. I just stole the the the, the, the Amory case off of the Hulk, gave him the blue one, and put reanimator in the green. And then it, I had Birdman with the red case. I stole the red case from that, and then just put Birdman in a blue case, and stole three. I don't think this looks so awesome in the red case. This movie too, I just rewatched it. This one, I guess, my first Halloween movie. This this Halloween that I watched. Um, <clears throat> still enjoy it. Still love this movie. I think it's so awesome. The three hours and seven minutes flies by my eyes. I love, I love just the jump from them being kids, going back and forth to adults, to kids. Pennywise, one of the, the greatest clowns ever in film history in my eyes. And I think a lot of people agree. I think this movie is just, it's just so awesome, man. It, it's, it holds up just as, just as well as it did when it came out in 1990. Not as scary as it was, obviously. If you were a kid seeing this, you'd probably shit your pants. Being now, uh, being an adult now, it's not as scary, but it's still just so cool to watch. I have such a fun time watching this. Uh, up next here, and that was that thing. I think Fye had them, and everybody's having a hard time finding them, or they were having a hard time finding them. I found out at one by work. This one here, the one by work didn't have it. I actually had to drive about a half hour to another Fye. Uh, the guy had one copy left, and he sold it to me. The only thing I'm a little pissed off is mo they were supposed to be nine ninety nine. This one here said twelve ninety nine. I didn't notice till I checked the receipt when I got out of the store that I was charged thirteen, and I was like, whatever, dude. Anyway, Salem's Lot. I remember seeing this on TNT. I think TNT or TBS a while back used to show this every so often. Um, and I, I watched it. I haven't seen it since, so I'm excited to check this out. Look at that vampire back there. I can't see with the glare, but whatever. Up next here, I uh, have the, the, not original, I guess it's the original release, yeah. Uh, and then they, they came up with this restored edition for $10, which, again, you can't pass it off for $10. It's a newly restored uh, picture. It comes with a really nice slip cover. It's where we'll work. American Werewolf in London. I think I was going to say American Werewolf in Paris. American Werewolf in London. Really, really, really good movie. Seen this actually for the first time, again, about a year ago. Um, love the transformation scene as everybody. One of the, the coolest transformation scenes I've ever seen in anything. In transformation of a werewolf and a whatever. Really, really fun movie. Uh, up next here. Whew. And this was a recommendation from Blu-ray Lantern Ryan. Blu-ray Lantern Ryan. Uh, he had raised about this movie on one of his pickup videos. Um, and then Reject Films Dan uh, had made a post about it on his Instagram and said that he picked this up from Walmart. It's selling for like $23.25 on eBay and Amazon, stuff like that. Uh, he said that Walmart had it for $20. So I went out there and actually found it, scooped it up. So I suggest if you have any interest in this movie, go pick it up from there. It's 20 bucks, so you save a couple dollars. And I think most Walmarts have it. Uh, it's the invitation. This movie is awesome. Uh, so thank you for the recommendation, uh, Ryan. Uh, really, really fun movie. Uh, you got this guy, Will, here, and his wife, I think it's Eden. Uh, well, ex-wife. They separated. She's moved on, got a new guy. He's got a girlfriend. Uh, the ex-wife and her husband, new husband, invite Will and his girlfriend over to their house for, like, a party, like a get-together, just, you know, a little get-together. Uh, they get over there, there's like weird, weird people start showing up, weird things start happening. Uh, it turns out they're they're like, uh, I don't know, if I'm, yeah, I guess it's like a cult. They're kind of joining the cult. Um, previously, early in the video, I'm skipping all over, but uh, it, it turns out they actually lost a son. They had a young son and he had died. And that kind of drove them apart from each other. You know, they got in a fight and they just drove apart. They decided best for them was to, to separate. So it was kind of weird when he hadn't talked to her in a couple of years and she invited him over to this party. But anyway these weird people start showing up um the weird things start happening they watch like these weird this weird video um the wife's acting really weird her boyfriend 
it turns out they're in like this cult that helps with like loss and grieving of like losing children and, and losing family members and stuff like that. And I will tell you one thing, and it just gets weirder and weirder from there and crazier from there. It is a slow burn. So, you know, you're going to have to sit there for a little bit if, if you're not into that and, and kind of just, you know, bite your teeth and kind of, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the whole, the whole movie, but the ending in my eyes is a great payoff and well worth it. So definitely invitation. If you get a chance, check it out. Last here. And again, I mean, I would, I was going to pick this up, but my man, Ryan, Blu-ray Lantern actually, um, was talking the other day and he told me, he said, I know you're a big fan of Nicholas Winding Refn, which I am drive. Obviously my favorite movie. Uh, uh, Only God Forgives, uh, Bronson, uh, Valhalla Rising, fan of all of them, fan of all of them. Uh, so when I'd heard he was putting this out, I had to go and pick it up. It's uh, L Fanning in The Neon Demon. But Blu-ray Lantern, uh, Ryan, had, had talked to me, and he said, dude, have you checked this out yet? And I said, I picked it up. I haven't checked it out. He said, dude, you have to check it out. He said, this movie, I watched it. He said he watched it, and right after he watched it, he watched it again. He was that impressed with this movie and enjoyed it that much. I tried to watch it a second time, but... I, I passed out, but, uh, I watched it the first time. I thought this movie was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Big fan of this movie. I'm actually probably going to go watch it tonight again. Once the kids go to bed, um, Al Fanning, basically she's, um, she's like a newer model, young model coming in. She's like 16 years old and she's like the hot new thing. And there's this group of girls that were the hot thing. And, and it's kind of, I guess they, they kind of want the spotlight and they will kind of want the spotlight back and they're, they're kind of up, like pissed off that, that she's kind of getting all the, 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 uh, the, the photo shoots now and she's, she's becoming like the big it thing. So you'll see as you progress, things start happening. Like they kind of become friendly with her and try to, Oh, we're your friend. Da, da, da. Nah, that's not the case, but find out this thing too. Just like the invitation. I love the end of the list. I guess like half hour this awesome. So crazy, crazy awesome. Nicholas Winding Refn, I thought, did a fantastic job with this movie. I know this movie got bashed, like all of his movies get bashed because he's just he's just a different director. His style's different. His movies are different. People, they get them or they don't get them. I get them. I love them. So definitely check out The Neon Demon if you can. And this this video went 17 minutes. And I said I didn't want to go 17 minutes, but I, I blabble, blabble, babble. Anyway, um, so there's the video. There's my pickups. Um, like I said, I'll try to make a video tomorrow. I'm going to start getting more content on here. I know my... Like, again, the subscribers aren't a huge deal, but they're kind of stalling out. I, I like when people, you know, subscribe, watch my videos, just like everybody does. It's fun seeing your subscriber count grow, people enjoying your videos. Like I said, I always enjoy, all your, you know, all you guys, your videos on here, and all the people that comment, don't make videos. Like I said before, if you don't make videos, go make videos. Do what I did. I was a big wuss, and you're maybe, I'm just saying me personally. I'm sure you guys aren't wusses, but I was all worried. What are people going to think of me? What are my friends going to think if they find out I have a YouTube page? I don't give a shit anymore, man. I have fun doing this. I know many other people do the same thing, but I don't care. I enjoy this. I love this community. All the guys order to make videos. I don't have a problem with anybody. Everybody's awesome on here. The Facebook pages are awesome. The, the, everything's awesome. I do the stream with the Blue Limit Soldiers. They invite me on to do the stream. Like, how cool is that, dude? Those guys are awesome. Hopefully, I can hang out with them sometime. I'm more than more than fine taking a long ass drive to meet up with them guys. But we'll see what happens. I know they just went the other day to a convention. Saw pictures on Facebook and all some time. It's really cool. And uh, Doctor Movie Ninety One was Doctor Movie Ninety One was with them. It's just cool getting the community together. Whether you meet up or just talk. You know, there's guys overseas that you know watch my videos and I watch their videos and we talk back and forth and comment. It's awesome. Anyway, eighteen and a half minutes. Uh, oh, and here's a Rick and Morty uh, hot topic pickup. I got Rick and Morty great show. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Hot topic solution. Rick with the portal gun. Okay, so there's that. Um, I actually want to ask too, would any of you guys have any interest? I know, again, a million people have done it, but I, I don't think I've done it yet. I guess like in a sense, an in-depth look at my collection. Like I'll go through, I got my Walking Dead shelf. I'll probably skip the DVDs. Like I got my wrestling movies. And then like I've gone through my steel books and my uh, digi books before. But my Disney collection, my Criterions, my Scream Factory, Arrow, and then just my regular releases. If anybody would be, would be interested in like my collection, me going and making like some collection videos... Let me know, yes or no, yay or nay. <coughs> I'd appreciate it. So anyway, uh, thanks everybody on here. Thanks to you five guys I mentioned earlier. I'll put your pages down there for showing off these awesome freaking horror collections and being such horror fanatics and turning me into a fucking horror fanatic. And horror movies, the releases are <laughs> more expensive than your typical releases, so burning a hole in my pocket. But such is life. I enjoy it. It's fun. It's fun watching movies. It's fun buying movies and collecting. It's fun talking to you guys. So anyway, going on 20 minutes. So let me know if you guys be cool with the collection video. Let me know what you think of this video. And if you could be so kind, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.